Okay, I'll just show you how to set the sat nav in this uh, Nissan Navara. So from any screen you've got, um, well, you've got the map screen there. That's the map screen. Let's just go out of it. Uh, we'll go to music. So from any screen, you've got the map screen there, or you've got destination there, new address, click new address. Um, we've got the postcode there. So we'll just go up to postcode, select postcode. And we're, let's see, we can do it like so, or with the wheel. So we're Grosvenor Garage, Chorley Road, Watley Dale, PR, and then we'll just take a shortcut up there. Five, four, back down here, oops. J. Grosvenor Garage, Chorley Road, Watley Dale, Preston, PR5, 4J, S. And then we have list here, back. Um, I think if, if we enter it, it'll, it'll um, put another S in. So we'll click list. United Kingdom, PR5, 4JS, Waltney Dale, Preston, Chorley Road, Waltney Dale. Yes, click OK, click OK. And then you see there, it's defaulted to start, click start. Starting route guidance to your destination. So that's it. It's a very easy uh, system to use. Very, very good system. OK, I'll just show you how to uh, delete a mobile from the Bluetooth audio system in this Nissan Navara. Uh, so from any screen, if we go into settings, it's gone straight to the screen. So just, just one second. Let, let, let me do that again. Um, so into settings, navigation, audio bluetooth we go down to bluetooth with using the thumb wheel click enter you've got bluetooth there on so if you're having any problems pairing make sure that's on so you obviously you know how to get to that now pair bluetooth device paired device list paired device list hands free it's showing barry's iphone click on barry's iphone connect preferences or delete i want to delete it click delete Barry's iPhone is already on the list. Delete Barry's iPhone, yes. That's it gone. Okay, I'll just show you how to pair a mobile to the Bluetooth audio system in this um, Nissan Navara. First of all, into settings, make sure Bluetooth is on. Uh, it's more than likely going to appear at the bottom here. So from any, you, you, you can do it two ways. I think that was the Audi hands-free that just showed up there. This one will be my car. So you can either go into settings, I'll show you the hard way settings, and to Bluetooth, Bluetooth, and then just navigate to pair a device. Or if we go back, click on telephone. Oh, there you go. Just click that in one second. So click on telephone. There is no Bluetooth phone currently paired with the system. Would you like to pair one now? Yes. Using your handset, look for a Bluetooth device called My Car, which has come up already. When requested by the handset, enter the pin 1234. So we'll click on that. Allow contacts and favourites to sync. I won't be using the car again, but you will, so I'll click Don't Allow. And there you go, it's my car's connected. So good thing about the system in here is if we go to iTunes, if you just click there, you'll see my car showing there's a tick next to it. If not, just tick it. We'll go back here, click over to auxiliary. That's showing the record that's playing on here. Now, if I just turn this up, give it a bit of volume. That's it. Uh, it's, a, it's a real good... Real good audio system in, in this vehicle, um, quite easy to use. If you can't get auxiliary, if you can't get the tunes playing, go into settings, just to check this, go down to Bluetooth, select Bluetooth, look at paired device list, click paired device list, and you see there you've got hands-free and audio. If you click on audio, just make sure that that's selected. See my phone there, select, and then click select. So that's how you do it. Um, uh, I hope that helps. Thank you.